Well, with our recent bouts of cooler weather, everyone has been talking about winter. So what will the season have in store? For the answers, you just gotta look at the climate clues. Here's a look at the 2009-2010 BP weather winter forecast. Winter is supposed to look like this, where snow covers the entire landscape around here. And you having to remove that snow, whether it be with a snow plow, a snow blower, or a good old fashioned shovel. But lately it's been a lot of this. Watching rain turn our precious snow into slush, or winter storms that didn't even bring any snow. We just got doused in heavy rain. Snow lovers have been in a bit of a gloomy state the past three years being that since 2006, all three of our previous snow years have been well below normal, our highest being last year with 24 inches, which is still 8 inches below normal, which is 32. It's been in large part to La Nina, which is a cold water current in the eastern Pacific. What that does is it pushes our, our jet streams well to the north, taking away any great chance of seeing a big east coast snowstorm. This year, I expect things to be different. Our weather pattern will be dominated by more neutral states in the ENSO. If not neutral, it will be a weak El Nino, which will, in fact, enhance more snowfall. That is why I am forecasting above average snowfall for the Lehigh Valley with a range of 37 to 43 inches. The average is 32. So let's break it down month by month. In November, it is going to be a pretty pleasant month with seasonable temperatures. It will turn colder near the end of the month and some snow is expected near Thanksgiving. The normal monthly snowfall is 1.4 inches. We should be pretty close to that. In December, things will begin to change. It will be seasonably cold, some mild breaks with slightly above average snowfall. The normal in the month is four. January looks to be the most active month. It will be frigid with little relief from the chill. Because of that, teaming up with a strong well, weather pattern setting up, I expect well above average snowfall. Normal for the month is 11. We could be close to double that. February will be a milder month, but despite this, the clashing of warm and cool air will create the pe potential for a big east coast snowstorm, which will help result in yet another above average snow month. The normal is just about nine. March looks to be nice and mild with spring coming early. That will lead to below average snow in March. Normal is five and a half inches. We may not see any in March. So there you have it. It's, that's the 2009 to 2010 winter forecast. The regional snow map looks like this, with us highlighted right on the border of that 30 to 40 and 40 to 50 range mark. Uh, that is why I went with 37 to 43 on either side of 40. Um, if this forecast needs tweaking, I will be tweaking it throughout the period if I see any significant changes. But right now, I'm pretty confident in this forecast. In March, we'll know how I do. Thanks for watching this and enjoy the upcoming winter as it looks to be much more for snow lovers than the past few.